Okay, so what do we do once we have this number? So if I know it cost me 93 cents to raise a pound of calf, well, how am I doing? What's, what's my report there? Am I doing good? Am I doing uh, marginal? Am I a high cost producer or a low cost producer? Well, we've got some resources to help you figure that out. And I'll tell you from looking at this number, if, if this were recent within the last couple years, this guy's doing a darn good job at, at 93 cents uh, to raise a pound of calf. Um, here's where our numbers are coming in for, for the school. And uh, everybody that participates in the Ranch Practicum School, uh, we ask that we help them do this unit cost of production analysis. And then we, if they're willing, that we put their numbers in a data set. And uh, we take all the ranches that have done a thorough job of this and, and put them in a data set. And this is from last year's Ranch Practicum School. We had 11 ranchers in this data set. And uh, these are their numbers on average. So it's really a good exercise to spend some time digesting these kind of things. Averages don't tell you a whole lot because what you see is we have a pretty darn good range uh, of, in each of these averages. So we've got uh, this number of cows here, an average of 300. Well, we've got a group down there that uh, in the lower quartile that has 116 cows. We've got a group up here in the upper quartile that has uh, 405 cows. Here's our maximum minimum. And, uh, and then we grouped our three high profit herds and then excluded our three high profit herds for an average there. So let's jump all the way down here to the bottom of these and show you the unit cost of production of these 11 ranchers in our data set. Here's the average cost of production. Okay, here's our low, here's our high, and here's the average of our high profit herds. And here's the average of all herds, excluding the high profit herds. So really, once you figure out where you are and you figure out if you're a low cost producer or a high cost producer, then the idea is to go back through these numbers and start figuring out where you're doing a good job and where maybe you need to spend some time focusing some management attention. One thing I'll point out here real quick is we look at hay cost per cow. We know that's a major cost on the ranch. Uh, look at the variation here. We had a producer that spent $2.33 on hay per cow this year that we're doing this analysis. We had a rancher that spent $419 on hay for every cow doing this analysis. So there's one that has a lot of variation to it. That $2 number is extremely low um, and that $419 number is extremely high. So, so again, ask the question, where am I low cost? Where am I high cost? And how is my total unit cost of production? So just to sum up here, um, we kind of jumped through that. Uh, know your unit cost of production benchmarking that data against known averages, identifying any bottlenecks to profit that you may have. What are the areas that are holding you back from being a high, a high, high profit producer, a low cost producer? And then starting on the track of addressing one of these bottlenecks per year. Maybe you can address more than one, uh, but uh, certainly identifying one and coming up with a strategy to address that bottleneck per, for profit a year. So. That's kind of the nuts and bolts of a unit cost of production analysis. Aaron, do you have any comments on that? I guess the one thing I would say is just that those folks who've gone through the practicum, who've completed the unit cost of production, uh, communicate to us it's the most valuable thing that they do. And it's the most valuable thing they learn from the practicum because it really begins to help them think about the decisions they make on the ranch in terms of what they do. How is that going to affect their unit cost of production? Everything from if I buy a new pickup, how's that going to affect my unit cost production? If I buy cake instead of feed protein as an alpha, or alfalfa hay as a protein source, how will that affect my unit cost production? So once you begin to get a handle on that and begin to think that way, I think it really sharpens your ability as a manager to make effective decisions. Good point. And you know, when, when you get these numbers, having one year's numbers are good. Having a five-year rolling average is great and then really being able to project your next year's cost of production before you even enter into that year is ideal. And uh, think of the management power that that puts in your hands as a ranch manager. No longer are you going along wondering what, what, what am I gonna get for my calves this year? Am I gonna make a profit this year? You know uh, what you've done the last five years and you have a projection as to what it's gonna cost you to raise a pound of calf going into this year. So you know when that point is that, that when you sell, you'll make a profit. And all of a sudden it puts you in the driver's seat 
in terms of the profitability of that ranch instead of being in, in a seat where you're just reacting to what's going on around you. Okay, well, again, we hope you go to the website here. That's where the resources are posted. Uh, join us at one of our on-site schools and uh, can think about signing up for the full ranch practicum school. Uh, next one starts in June of 2010. So uh, look forward to, to seeing you there.